Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video tutorial with 10 art hacks or craft hacks that you can do using a glue gun. So sit down, enjoy, and I've listed all the products below in the description area. The first hack is quite a simple one, is making your own gemstones or pearls. So you can create pearl-like gemstones on your projects, whether it's a card, art journal, or uh, any type of project by just squeezing some glue on a piece of paper or basically on any type of surface. You can make these pearls any size you want and then you can decorate them. All you have to do is just squeeze the glue and then move it in a circular motion to make sure that no residue stays on your paper. That way they become quite circular. If you want to be able to use these as an embellishment and actually not as texture, all you have to do is just do them on a non-stick surface and that way you can remove them and actually create real pearls. However, for this example, I did them on a piece of paper and I'm covering them with black gesso just so I can show you how well they look. This precision glue gun is perfect to create these type of pearls because it has a really thin spout and you can easily create beautiful pearls with it. To show you how shiny they are, I'm using some Prima Finabare rose gold wax just to show you how nicely the pearls come out. You could of course color them in white or in any type of paint. You could basically do anything you want with them. The sky's the limit. The only thing you have to remember, like with all the examples coming up, is that you cannot heat set the paint above the glue gun texture. You have to let it air dry because if you heat set the paint on top of the glue, it will soften to glue and will melt it. The second art hack with a glue gun is creating texture. And I actually took a small canvas, this is a four by four canvas, and I started moving my glue gun around, creating this really fun texture on the background. You could do this on any type of surface, it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is just move and create any type of texture. It could be lines, it could be squiggles, it could be just dots. So basically you can create any texture to use on your project. And as I said before, when you're adding any type of paint or gesso on top, just make sure you don't heat set it and let it all air dry. So what I did here is I took white gesso and I gave it a really nice cover. I want to use this canvas for a different project. So all I did is I gave the canvas a nice coat of white gesso because I wanted to add some nice sprays on top of it. You could also add paint or paste or any type of product that will just let the texture show on the surface. My third art hack with the glue gun is creating paint drips. So all you have to do is basically create a blob at the top and then let it run down. And it creates these beautiful paint-like paint drips. So I have my precision glue gun and I also have a glue gun from the dollar store. And I just wanted to show you that you can use either one to create this. I do prefer my precision glue gun just because it's so accurate and it's so easy to use. And it also stands on its own without having any drips going anywhere. For my fourth hack is actually creating your own designs. And for this one, I actually used the same precision glue gun and just created a really fun background on a piece of paper. Of course, you could do this on any type of surface. And all I did is create a heart with my glue gun and then some lines going from it. It's a really good way of creating your own backgrounds or any other type of design that you want for your projects. Of course, this also can create texture, like I said in the other hack, but it's mainly creating your own designs with the glue gun. To be able to see the design and the texture on each of these hacks, you really need to add some kind of paint or gesso or some color to be able to see the designs well. So the same way I did with the canvas texture, I'm adding white gesso to the one with the heart and the lines. The one with the drips I left plain because I wanted to add watercolors on it. So for the one with the hearts, all I did is take some color bloom sprays and you can use any type of spray. And I just went ahead and sprayed it all over just to show you that you can really see the design. You could also paint this with some kind of acrylic paint or gelatos or anything at all. And I did the same thing for the actual canvas 
because I really wanted to show how nicely the texture looks once you add the sprays. The colors really make a difference and make it look really cool. The only thing with this is that I have to patiently let it dry because I cannot heat set it as it will melt the glue underneath. So I use wipes to just wipe off a little bit of the excess so you can really see the deep color underneath and you can see the texture on top as highlights. My fifth hack has to do with watercolor resist technique. And for this one, I'm going to use the paint drip background. So all I did is took some of the watercolor confections from Prima, which are beautiful watercolors, and all I'm doing is adding it to my background, my paint drip background. I'm also spraying on it to show you that you can also use sprays as well as watercolors. Then all you do is you take a wipe and you wipe off the excess on the actual drips. The glue resists the ink and the watercolor and the color only shows on the sides of the glued area. My sixth hack is one of my favorite ones and that is that you can create your own stencils using your glue gun. I'm designing the stencil on top of my 12 by 12 Tonic Studios tempered glass mat. You can also use a non-stick mat to create the stencils. All you have to do is just create any design you want. In this case, I'm designing circular stencil by making circles and making sure they're attached to each other. I made random circles in different sizes until I was happy with the design. I guess it would have been good to use a plain background because you can't really see the stencils, but when I use them later on in the video, you are going to see how cool they are. The second stencil I created was just making three hearts that are attached to each other. I could have created more hearts or any type of design, but I just wanted to show you the idea. The nice thing about the glue from a glue gun is that it dries really quickly. And when it's done on glass, because the glass is cold, it actually dries even quicker. So it's such a quick way to create these type of stencils and designs. And once it's dry, you just peel it off and it's so easy to just remove. I just have to be very careful to make sure that I don't rip the glue and the circles, but it removes quite easily from the mat and it's an amazing design stencil that I just created in like basically a minute. I realized after by pure coincidence that in order to remove this much easier from my glass mat, all I had to do was spray it with a little bit of alcohol and it actually came off so easily and you'll see later on another example that I have make. Now I'm going to just use the stencils with some sprays and all I did is just place them on a piece of paper and then just spray with a couple colors of color bloom spray and look how amazing these designs came out. And all you have to do is just clean the stencil again and you can reuse it as many times as you want. You can also use this as an embellishment or to create texture on a project so you could go ahead and glue this on a project as well. For my seventh hack I actually used my glue gun to create my own embellishments and there's different ways that you can do this. You can do this as a stencil that I already did or you could use it using stamps or some kind of image. For this example I'm going to stamp a happy word or sentiment onto my glass mat and then I'm going to use my glue gun to fill in the letters. You could also use any type of shape or any type of stamp like a flower or a leaf or a circle and just create your own embellishments. So the same way I did before, I am doing it on my glass mat and you can also do it on a non-stick surface. So all I'm doing is filling in the lettering and letting it dry so I could remove it. Another way you can do it is printing an image from the internet on a piece of paper and then using some kind of clear glass to put on top and then creating your own embellishment. As I said before, it's much easier if you add a little bit of alcohol and wet the area where you're, you're removing the embellishment. That way it comes off quite easily from the mat. Here I have the finished embellished ward that I can use on any project. And the same way that I created this ward, I can also create any type of embellishment. To color in the embellishment, I covered it in black gesso. And then I went ahead and added some wax on it again. 
Of course, the gesso wasn't dry because, as you know, I cannot dry and heat set it. So I should have waited a little bit more patiently for the gesso to dry. So it kind of mixed a little bit with the wax. And as you can see, it got all over my mat. So I did sit and let it dry for a little bit longer and cleaned up my area. And then I went back and added a little bit more wax. That way, it really took on the color. My eighth art hack is using molds to create embellishments. I've already used this hack on another video where I show how to use molds in five different ways. One of the ways was to use a glue gun to fill in the mold and create the shaped embellishment. So in this case, I filled out these two roses inside my silicone mold, and once it was dry, all I had to do was pop them out and I have a beautiful shaped embellishment for my project. You can use these for a card or for a journal or even a mixed media project. It's a very cheap and inexpensive way to use inside the molds, and the shape comes out perfectly. My ninth art hack happened just by accident. While I was leaving the glue gun to sit on my table, some of it would drip down onto my mat and would dry in a round form, almost like a little pebble or stone. So I started collecting them as they were falling because the glue gun was sitting on my table for a while. And I thought that that would be an amazing hack, even if you create your own texture balls, that you can use them in your projects instead of mini art stones. My 10th art hack is actually one that is very useful, especially for mixed media collage. Here is an old project where I used this technique and just want to show you how well it held over the years. What I do is I use the glue gun as a reinforcer for the heavy gel or for the soft gel, so basically any gel medium. The way I do it is that I know that the glue gun will glue the embellishments and will dry really quickly, which is really easy because that way I can hold the embellishments in place. However, the glue from the glue gun has a shelf life, meaning that after a while, it doesn't hold its own and things get detached from what they were glued on. So a good way to use the glue gun is to actually combine it with the gel medium. So you're just using the quick drying glue from the glue gun to actually hold the embellishment in place, but the gel medium, which takes 24 hours or longer to dry will actually permanently glue the embellishment. So when combined together, the glue gun holds it temporarily, but the gel medium actually holds it permanently. So I hope you liked my 10 glue gun art hacks. If you have any other art ideas that you can do with a glue gun, feel free to leave me a comment about them. I'm sure there's many other ideas. If I have enough of them, I will probably make a second video with more ideas with the glue gun. There is so many ideas out there that is just unbelievable. Just wanted to show you one more time all the finished projects, although some of them haven't dried, especially the ones with the sprays. I really love how they all turned out, and what I like about it is that they're so versatile, you can use them in any type of project. Thank you so much for watching. For more inspiration, subscribe to my channel and visit me on my website. Bye!